Hello students, today we are going to discuss about the binomial nomenclature, right? So when we talk about the binomial nomenclature, we will understand what is the nomenclature. Nomen means name and the color means to call, right? So when we, we are trying to call some organism by its name, it is called a nomenclature, right? So when it comes to the binomial nomenclature means any organism when we are giving any name, particular name, it may be local, it may be scientific, right? So that is called a binomial nomenclature. It is making and giving name to the organism, living organism, right? <clears throat> it may be common or it may be scientific name, right? So let us understand common or vernacular. It is also known as common name. It is also known as vernacular name so vernacular name means local name by particular region or locality or particular language right for example onion onion it is also known as a piaz in india right so that's what this piaz is the local or vernacular name whereas the onion it is the english name right coming to the scientific or technical name when we are uh, having the it will it compose with the two words right the first one it is the uh, generic that is called a genus and the second one is the specific that is called a uh, species right particular uh, genus and species it will compose uh, these two words and it will be called as a scientific name or technical name okay uh, what there is a certain rule when we are giving any uh, uh, name to the particular organism it may be plant it may be animal it may be any microorganism right so what are those rules uh, to give the nomenclature each organism it is a sing, uh, single two word name right say for example here i have given the uh, taken the example for mango or it is also called the arm right mangifera indica so here uh, this is the one word this is that another word that is uh, that's what here we have discussed the first it is generic or genus so mangifera is what genus whereas indica is species or specific that's what okay so that only it is telling in the rule number one each organism single two word name this is a single two word name first one is the genus second one is the species coming to the second rule of binomial nomenclature it should not less than three or more than 12 later right that's what uh, say for example in this only 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 right so 9 mangifera uh, this in genus 9 later it is there right so it should not be less than 3 and more than 12 that is the rule uh, to give the name of the particular organism the third rule says generic name written first that's what first letter capital here <coughs> here in m we have given uh, capital the first letter capital and uh, this is the first name that is called a generic or genus the another rule is specific word or a species word written second one that is indica smaller letter all the i also is in small i n d i c a indica all in small letter right so that is the second word that is uh, uh, what you call specific word or species Coming to the uh, another rule, fifth rule, names are derived from Latin or Greek language. Okay, so this mangifera and indica, this is the Latin word, right? So that's what. Coming to the sixth rule, repetition in other kingdom should be avoided while giving the no name to the particular organism. We need to check that whether this same name it is already existing or not in other kingdom. Let's say, for example, in microbe kingdom or in animal kingdom because uh, mangifera indica it belongs to the plant kingdom so that we need to check and uh, we have to avoid if it is already there coming to the next one the seventh one scientific name is in italic style right that's what italic means it should be little bit banned you have to see uh, into that it will be available so in italic font it should be there that's what so that it can be indicated that it is the name of the organism whether it is microorganism or animal or any plant name okay spellings are not liable to change mangifera it has been given the name so now we are not supposed to change if it will be changed if we are changing means it will not be considered as a mango or it will not be known as a mango okay so that's what this spelling also we cannot change so these are the certain rules to give the uh, a, any nomenclature of the any living organism it may be microorganism it may be animal it may be plants thank you